Good evening. Welcome to RFD TV Live. I'm News Director Mark Oppold. And so proper soil nutrition, our topic tonight, and helping us understand the importance of words like humix in our soil. Our friends from Monty's Plant Food rejoining us tonight. We'll be hearing from producers across the country as well during the hour, some testimonials and comments from this past growing season, as well as taking your telephone calls as you make final plans for this 2013 season. Some of you I know talking to you at a Commodity Classic are ready to go right now. Mother Nature, other ideas in the South and Southeast. Monty's Plant Food Company offers a, a natural soil enhancement and, and, a, and a plant fertility program using innovative humic technology. You're going to hear that word many times uh, on our program this evening, all to maximize your yields this year. Joining me tonight from Monty's Plant Food Company, uh, to my left is Doug Hobbs returning. Doug is Central Region Territory Manager and Joe Dedman, a Certified Crop Advisor. Welcome back to RFD TV. Thank you, Mark. Good to see you both here. And uh, for viewers maybe watching us for the first time, uh, Doug, let's start with you and uh, uh, quick background check. You've been how long with Monty's? I've been in a couple of years now. Yeah? A couple of years. Uh, grew up in southern Indiana and uh, worked in uh, ag retail right out of college. And before coming to Monty's, I've been running my own business and farming some as well. So I've uh, been doing a couple of different things. Ready for the season, too, I'll bet. Absolutely. I'll bet. Yes, good to, yeah, good yeah, to have you back. <laughs> Joe, you and I crossed paths and had a nice visit at yes. the Commodity Classic. That was yeah. a great show as before going on. I was talking to you about that. A lot of great producers that came by and yes. learned about Monty's or learned more about it that yeah. they'd been there before. We had a very good show at the Commodity Classic. and I, I've been with Monty's roughly eight years and, and uh, it really have enjoyed working with this company uh, because we've constantly tried to bring new products and new solutions to farmers to help solve some of the issues that they're doing out in their fields and I'm, I'm really proud of that as, as far as a company. You know when you were here and both of you uh, and we're going to hear from uh, from Dan Marley and and uh, Gary Coughlin here later in the show as well but you were here in January we talked about humix and that was our a yes. key word at the beginning of the program. Uh, Joe maybe kind of give us an update of uh, what we're talking about here why is it yeah. important? Well, we did have a really good show in January. Uh, we, we got a lot of audience response from Humix. Great. Uh, I think that that is a new buzzword in, in agriculture today is Humix and, and the benefits of Humix. And farmers are beginning to discover more and more every single day uh, what Humix substances do, that they uh, are work with both positive and negative uh, nutrients, cations and anions in the soil. And therefore, they, they see lots of benefits that, that come from humix uh, using that in the soil. And one of the issues that we dealt with in January was how that our product was so different from other humix on the marketplace and how it makes things happen in the soil. Lots of the biology uh, respond to humix, and it's really the biology that we need mm -hmm. uh, to, to make everything happen in the soil. So. The, the other part of, of humix is humic and fulvic acids. And then in addition to that, that, that you need those as far as humification to make that work in the soil and form organic matter. And really when you're talking about organic matter is all this biology that's working in the soil. So there's lots and lots of biology uh, working uh, for the benefit of farmers to release nutrients, to make their crops grow, to develop uh, root mass and root systems. And you know, there's just millions and millions of that biology that's out there in the soil. And farmers are just now discovering kind of a, a new thing about humix, how that helps them manage this biology to work for them yeah. and then grow, increase their crop yields. I know if our viewers can see that one teaspoon of a healthy soil yes. contains millions yes. of these microbes. Yes, yes. It's a very living uh, ec ecology out there in the soil that a living organism, and farmers have not really been relating to that until just here recently, and now they've discovered, you know what, it's really my soil and the biology that's in my soil that's making all my crop production happen, and so we're complementing all of that with our humix. Yeah, you remember uh, when I used, you know, showing my age a little bit, plowing, you know, yes. with a four four bottom plow yes. going across, and you know, you couldn't, you know, as soon as you pulled, yeah. turned the earth, you had the, the, the birds just followed you oh, all the way. Yeah. Across yeah. the field, back and forth, Correct. and that's because there was the then. I mean, you know, again, we're we're going back. I think you're yeah. saying what you're saying is that producers understand they want to go back to that time when that yes. soil is alive and yes. these microbes are working there, yeah, very absolutely. active. Now, uh, 
uh, Doug, over to you. So Humix aren't, we want to make sure, Humix aren't unique to Monty's, but Monty's uh, Humix are different. How? That's right. Um, as you said, uh, Humix are not unique to Monty's. There's a lot of different companies out there that are getting involved with Humix. Uh, but one of the things that uh, we need to know is that Monty's has been a real pioneer in the industry mm -hmm. for years. And, and now that it seems everyone is talking about Humix because of the soil health issues that are, have come into play, it seems that everyone is talking about it and everyone has a product and everyone has something to sell. Uh, but really, uh, because Monty has been involved so long and has invested so much research in Humix, um, we've got a product that, that is able to deliver and, and a lot of these other products just frankly just don't work. Um, and our products are quite a bit different and as you see in the slide there, uh, it talks about being more purified and activated and we, we do that partly by having the ideal fulvic to humic ratio and we have to have that to get maximum yield from the uh, from the humix mm -hmm. and then getting the right concentration um, of humic substances uh, to maximize the biological stimulation to really get that biology working in the soil which is really what we're trying to do with the products and this is a real advantage to Monty's over all these other competitive products because they just don't offer that kind of activity. Now, there are some great benefits, Joe, to uh, the, the uh, Monty's product, though, on the, on the, on the other side of things. Uh, Doug's kind of started that. But let's talk a little bit about the liquid carbon, and I want to focus on wheat in this case. Yeah. yeah, when we bring what we've been talking about, even in, back in January, over to the real world where we're doc talking about, let's say, wheat, for example, uh, one of the uh, researchers over at North Carolina State, uh, Dr. Hanniger, has been working uh, uh, diligently with about tiller formation in, on wheat in the fall. Mm -hmm. Now, for, for many of us, we, we always thought that tillering happened more, more in the spring, but he has done some terrific research to, to show that tillering happens in the fall. And even at the picture you see on the screen, we want that one wheat seed to develop more and more tillers because every tiller will produce another head of wheat, which will, of course, multiply our, our yield production. Mm -hmm. Well, even when you, you do the tillering, you have to maintain the energy in that wheat plant to, to make those tillers stay there and even develop into heads. And so that's where our liquid carbon comes in, uh, we generate, help generate that energy through the biology in the soil when the wheat is planted and therefore that begins to put out more and more tillers. The other great benefit of the liquid carbon product is when we put it in with liquid nitrogen, especially over wheat. Many times they, they will plow uh, directly over top of wheat, even in this picture that we're showing here now. Yeah, what's this, uh, what we, do we want to look for well, here? Well, we had a farmer there in North Carolina, and this just ap absolutely happened this February, that he sprayed liquid nitrogen as many people do on the right. And over on the left side, he applied our liquid carbon in with that nitrogen and it buffered the salt effect that is in nitrogen. It buffered that salt and kept it from burning any of the leaf tissue that's on that wheat. Mm. So that has to produce uh, less stress in the plant. That's what we're after is reducing any kind of stress to the wheat plant so that we continue to put the energy into those tillers and then, of course, the, you want the production to happen at the end. Another product that we'll mention here in a minute is we then come in at uh, like a fungicide stage and put in Agrihance R to help it to fill out that head and produce even more grain. Well, we talked about we're going to have uh, several testimonials from around the country. In fact, this our first is from uh, Monty's representative. Uh, this is during a field day at Monty's research farm, as a matter of fact, and talking about what Joe just alluded to, the benefits of Monty's liquid carbon on wheat. We're here today at the uh, Monty's research farm in Shelby County, Kentucky. We have a uh, wheat field here that the farmer has uh, taking over part of what Monty's is, has been doing for the last three years. Um, we have applied carbon on the field behind me for three consecutive years. And the, the field that I'm actually standing in uh, has not had any carbon applied. Uh, what, we, what we've seen is a, a more even emergence with the wheat behind me. Got the plant off to a healthier start. What the liquid carbon is doing, it's releasing some tied up micronutrients and making uh, nutrients more available to the plant. It's reducing some compaction issues that we're seeing in the, in the farmer's field, which is able to get the roots down deeper. We've got a softer soil. 
so it's able to go out and gather more nutrients. This spring, we started to notice some differences in the tillering and, and how fast the, the weed is progressing in, in its stage. The, the wheat here that was on the, the, our research farm, it's all he headed out, it's even. Uh, in the farmer's field, we have uh, an uneven, uneven emergence, uneven stand. It's pale green in color and it has a lot of disease pressure in it. Uh, and and he's, he's got some heads that are starting to form, but not many. Uh, we've seen a very even head stand behind me. Uh, we're trying to get the message out of what our continuous program can do for farmers uh, in, our, in our areas and uh, we just want everybody to come out and take a look at it and see the advantages that we have to offer. That's Paul Parker. Wow, it's good to see that green field again. I can't wait to see that green yeah. up there once again. Uh, anything you want to add, Doug, to what we just saw, viewers, they may want to pull out of that little uh, clip from Paul. Sure, Paul covered it very well. <clears throat> uh, a couple things, I got to actually walk through that field myself and, and just driving up to the, our research farm where that field was, it was so noticeable even from the road uh, the difference in that in that field and it was almost by accident. It wasn't a planned experiment or anything But uh, just where we had been applying the product and where the product hadn't been applied and that line was very visible um, And just walking out into the field you could see the difference in the health of the plant the resistance to insect and disease pressure was obvious hmm. um, And the yield was just you could see it was just there and the plant just looked so much healthier and was just so much farther along and just uh it was a clear advantage. I'll bet. All right. We're going to hear from uh, another. This is uh, a producer from, his name is Reggie Baker. Reggie is a farmer from North Carolina. Yeah. I'm Reggie Baker with the Baker Brothers Farm. I farm with my dad and my brother in the southern part of North Carolina and in the South Carolina. We raise about 4,000 acres of uh, corn, wheat, and soybeans. We started using Monty's products in the spring of 2011. We used the liquid carbon and the agro sweet with our uh, winter wheat as a pre-plant to help with the residue management and it to encourage fall tillering in the wheat. The results that we've had with Monty's have been phenomenal from a bushel increase at harvest all the way through the plant health from the beginning of the fall in late October at emergence all the way through the spring. The crop just looks healthier. You don't have as many issues. Uh, looks like it's taken up the fertilizer that we're putting out and we're getting the most bang for our buck with our fertilizer using the carbon and it's um, on our farm we use a lot of poultry manure and we're able to get what's left over from the crop before with the manure and it's uh, helping bring that up into the crop and we've actually seen the rates of the fertilizer that we have to use on our wheat go down considerable because of what the carbon's making available to the crop. For other farmers that are wanting to consider or thinking of considering monies as something to add to their farm I would definitely recommend it as something to add without any uh, hesitation of hurting or uh, hurting your crop or any kind of problems handling it or mixing it. It's been an asset to our farm and we look forward to using it for years to come. Again, that's uh, data from uh, Reggie as a farmer from North Carolina. And uh, Joe, I'll throw it over to you to any comments that uh, to pull from there that viewers may want to make sure they make a note of. Yeah, Reggie really brought out several things that we even addressed in our January show. Mm -hmm. uh, he talked about the efficiency of, of the, using the carbon on the, uh, helping it to make it tiller in the fall. Uh, he also mentioned about uh, reduced the burn effect that when he put on nitrogen, he, he mentioned about uh, uh, making the fertilizer that he puts on even more efficient to him, and, and that's part of what carbon will do also. But again, he, he talked about how healthy, how green looking and everything that it looked like, um, and that's the kind of thing that you're seeing on the screen now. When we buffer that liquid nitrogen uh, with, and in this case, it was 26 gallons to the acre, uh, with our carbon product, it reduces the burn, therefore, the crop can continue to grow. It can. It doesn't be under stress, and and we just get a lot more uh, advantage and yield production out of crops when we do buffer that nitrogen so that it doesn't burn the leaves. Looking at that, well, Doug, you can you mentioned you can really just you can see the line right oh, down yeah. the field. You said, Mark, yeah. and they just the plant looks healthier. You can even right. on the TV with a picture, not standing it in a person, but if seeing it there, yes. you really see the difference what you're talking Correct. about. Yeah. And in addition to the liquid carbon, there are some other what you call protocols uh, that you're recommending. And we're talking about wheat now. We're going to talk about corn and soybeans right. mm -hmm. uh, viewers a bit later. We're kind of focusing on wheat to start here, but some of the other recommendations you would have? Sure, we would uh, go with the Agrihance line of products, which is our three-step uh, fertility program that would be uh, for all crops, but <clears throat> we would start with Agrihance S. All right. 
Hagerhan's S is going to be applied at planting. Uh, what we're trying to do is get that seed germinated and get it off to a vigorous start and uh, try to increase the tillering in that early growth stage that Joe talked about earlier uh, to try to maximize yield there early on in the season. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to shift after Agrahance S. We'll come back uh, after joining, maybe when you're spraying your Harmony, and then we're going to shift over to Agrahance V. And Agrahance V is going to be there again uh, at that uh, stage when you're spraying a herbicide and uh, to try to pull that plant out of the dormancy, get it uh, off to a vigorous growth stage there in the spring, and really try to maximize the uh, formation of that head through that growth stage. Um, and then moving on later in the season, we're gonna go to uh, Agrahance R at flag leaf stage. You can spray that uh, to really maximize the seed weight, seed quality. Uh, you can put it in with a fungicide pass so you don't have to make an extra trip. And uh, really try to uh, keep the health of that plant there and try to maintain the health of that grain and the quality of that grain uh, through seed and uh, head development. Very, and Joe? Yeah, in addition, you know, we, we just went through the growth stages of that wheat. Uh, by all means, consider when we're putting on nitrogen, many times even dry or liquid, but a lot of times they put on liquid, to put the liquid carbon in with that to do the buffering. And to show you a, another example of that, Many of our farmers are using it in their tobacco float beds, and we know that they put fertilizers in the water of their float beds, mm. mm -hmm. uh, and that many times has a salt effect that you see on the left. But when we put the carbon in the water with the fertilizer, look at the advantage of the root growth over on the right-hand tray uh, because it's doing this buffering effect of which humics are, are very uh, capable of doing, and especially our humic, that is very activated. So again, pictures tell a lot of stories uh, of what really can happen. And it's, you know, we can have all kinds of products out there, but the proof is really in what you see it do. In the, and you said the something, you said, Mark, really don't forget to tell the viewers that timing is everything. Oh, I, I don't yeah. want to forget that timing is everything timing you said. Timing is so. everything. Everything we're doing, talking about the growth stages of the wheat or the corn or the beans, uh, timing means so much in the growth stages of plants. Very good. Well, our program moving along here. We hope you're taking careful notes. We'll be opening our phone lines a bit later. Joe and Doug will be leaving us, and uh, Gary Coughlin and uh, Dan Marley from uh, Monty's will be joining me after the break to continue our conversation, and we will talk more then about corn and soybeans. But, Doug, you will not be coming back uh, at the rest of the program. We have, all, as always, all of our guests have a kind of a final thought, and so we want to make sure you have your time to leave some thoughts with viewers. Sure. Um, I would say that if you're considering using Monty's or if you're unfamiliar with the product, um, look up your Monty's rep. You can uh, get a hold of the company, but have the people, take advantage of our people. We have great people at Monty's and uh, take advantage of the people that are in the field to come to your farm and uh, to have a look at what your situation is and really have us kind of address what your needs are right there on your farm. Yeah, everybody's different, and this is the time of the year to do that, just before right. things get busy, and then, you've right. got, you know, then you're going to put it off another season, and that's not, you know, that's that's right. not profitable. That's right. That's right. That's Very right. good. Good to have you back again. Thanks. Good, good to be here. Good, nice job. Yeah. All right, we're going to come back and talk more about Monty's Agrihans. Uh, Doug kind of showed us that three-step program. We're going to hear more from farmer testimonials around the country and their harvesting results as well. You're watching our RFD TV Live right here on Rural America's most important network. Take control with Agrihance. Maximize your yields with the versatility and control of Agrihance S. Agrihance S combines the power of a pop-up with the improvements of a soil conditioner, helping crops emerge quickly and develop a robust root system. The unique tank mix flexibility boosts performance at germination for one pass application even in cool damp soil maximize your yields. Call, click, or talk to your dealer today and take control with Agrihance. Wildlife eating your profits? Our hunters will pay top dollar to lease your land. Call Base Camp Leasing today to learn how you can earn income, reduce crop damage, eliminate trespassing and poaching. Call 1-866-309-1507. That's 1-866-309-1507. Base Camp Leasing will put money in your pocket. Call now. 1-866-309-1507. Call today.
Life in the country is a choice, and with that choice comes hard work, attention to detail, and investing in the right tools to keep your home or farm at its best. So why choose anything but the very best zero turns on the market today? Xmark, known for their durability, precision cut, and time-saving performance, Xmarks are the preferred brand of mowing equipment for the landscape professional and people like you. Purchase any new Xmark rider through May 31st and receive a $200 Carhartt gift card. Visit xmark.com/giftcard for complete details. When four lanes turn to two and the air becomes just a little sweeter, you'll know you're getting closer. We are where the work gets done. If you're a worker, a fixer, a grower, or a doer, then welcome home. Southern States, a place for those who do. Farmer-owned since 1923. With Monty's, you get better soil, better crops, and better yields. Make the most of your harvest. Ask for Monty's products at your Southern States. Welcome back to RFD TV Live. Our friends from Monty's Plant Food joining me in studio for this hour and two new guests from Monty's. They've been here before uh, and we hope that uh, you've been able to catch them on the January program. Then, by the way, be back again next month as well as we get closer and maybe you're getting into the fields by the time we visit with you in April. Gary Coughlin is here. He's a field agronomist and Dan Marley as well. Dan is Midwest Territory Manager. Welcome back to both of you. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, and for uh, a lot of new viewers, uh, we add all the time, as you know, talking to them around the country. Uh, saw you on RFD TV. I know they say that, but uh, quick background from you. Yeah, Gary? I grew up on a farm in northeastern Kentucky. It was a burley tobacco and dairy farm. Had an opportunity to uh, go to college and got my degree in um, bachelor of science in, in agronomy. Mm -hmm. Went to work for a local co-op co and did that for 40 years, and now I've been with Monty's going into my fifth year. And uh, as I said before, it has been a fun ride to this point in time. Have learned a lot, and they are a tremendous company. Very good. And you're getting ready for a great new season, I know. It's uh, that time of year. You just can't wait to get into the fields That's here. Right. Dan, how about yourself? What's your background? I grew up in uh, north central Indiana, uh, kind of the middle of corn and soybean mm -hmm. country. And uh, after getting on with Monty's down in Louisville, Kentucky, where their corporate offices are, that was about nine years ago. Uh, I moved back up into north central Indiana about four years ago. Uh, now get to work with farmers, co-ops, feed and seed stores in parts of Indiana, parts of Ohio, Michigan, uh, Wisconsin. So it's it's been a good company to work for, and I've enjoyed it. I'll bet. It's a great part of the country. Before the break, we talked about the AgriHance program, and uh, Doug took us through the steps. And I want you to kind of expand on that again. It's not, uh, it's not just for wheat. We talked about wheat a lot in the first part of the program, but it's not. We're talking about all crops here, but really corn and beans now. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll concentrate more on corn and beans during this segment. But yes, you're right. All crops, corn, beans, wheat, hay, forages, uh, specialty crops from cotton to peanuts mm -hmm. to cranberries, produce crops, anything you can think of. But Monty's is basically a three-step management program uh, that is going to help uh, kind of be a tool in that toolbox to apply different nutrients uh, based upon either stage of growth of that crop but also stresses that may see coming or nutrient deficiencies that you may be experiencing. So it, it's kind of one of those tools that we can pull out and work with certain crops at certain stages, depending on what's going on in that plant. Mm -hmm. um, Monty's also has, uh, and I know we've heard in the first segment a lot about the humic products uh, that are in Monty's, and that humic product uh, in Monty's works continuously, both in the plant, but especially in the soil, kind of building up that soil the biology in the soil, uh, also nutrient holding capacity, moisture holding capacity, and that humic is really the catalyst in the soil that allows the Monty's products to kind of work in that soil structure to where we do see a change in that soil structure, trying to bring back the biology into yeah. the soil again. Uh, reducing compaction and, and helping with some of those soil issues that we're seeing today. So we have the three steps uh, at the Agrihance S, uh, Gary, Agrihance V, vegetation, and the Agrihance R. I think now let's talk about corn and kind of where we are now in the season. Seems to me that uh, right now we should be paying attention to the to the uh, Agrihance S. Am I right? That is absolutely correct, Mark. We're uh, we almost got corn planting right around the corner on us. Mm -hmm. And farmers, I know by now, are purchased their corn, they're getting ready to go, they're calibrating their planters and all this type thing. But what we want to do is we want to make sure we get that crop off to a fast start. 
Uh, the farmers are out there and, and they start by getting a uniform drop and, and let's just pick a number and say that we're going to drop a kernel every six inches. Right. Well, we don't want uh, two kernels on top of each other and then a foot skip. We want an even drop all the way across. And one thing that the Monty's uh, Agrihans S will do is it will help in that. And here we see a picture of a planter and we are designed to where we can actually go in the row on the seed because we are extremely low uh, salt content, we are pH neutral, and we will help get that crop out of the ground and, and get it off to a quick start. Now, if we saw the uh, last picture there in the upper left-hand corner, we saw those roots on an early plant that was, I think, probably V3 stage. Mm -hmm. And if we saw that, we noticed that the root system was larger on one side where we had used the Agrihans S and on the other side was control. And even at that stage, we saw a bigger root system and we saw more feeder roots. And if that farmer would go out at about that V6 stage, which is um, about knee high, and actually dig up some plants, he would see the benefit of that even more because there's gonna be a larger root system there. And now we're looking at a slide here that tells us about when we think you should be using the Agrihans lineup. And that is, of course, Agrihans S at planting time. For the seed. For the mm -hmm. seed. Mm -hmm. And then as we get up and growing, uh, uh, Agrihans S is going to get that off to a quick start and a healthy plant. And as that plant starts growing, then we want to use Agrihans V as long as we can get over top of that corn with our equipment. Keep that energy in that plant. And then as close to tasseling as we can get over that, or if they're using a fungicide at that time, put in Agrihans R. Now, let's mention something else. We said we were designed to go in the road on the seed. Yeah. Not all farmers are equipped with that. Some of them do not have a liquid system at all, and some of them are set up uh, with still a tube of two, and they don't want to switch. But should they decide that they want to do that, there is an easy way to do that. There is a kit that you can buy to convert those planters, and I think we've got a little clip here from a company that we've used several times to help these guys get the equipment they need to address this and put it in the row on the seed. Absolutely. Let's take a look. This is a video featuring, this is C&J AgriService in Ohio. Let's take a look. My name is Joe Wettler. We're with uh, C&J AgriService out of Venadosha, Ohio. We specialize in uh, pop-up kits for planters and installation. The modification to the planter is a very simple process. Uh, you will call us and we will ask a few detailed questions about the product and how much you want to apply and we'll custom tailor a kit. It's really fairly simple. Um, I mean, pretty much a guy can have a smaller planter, like a six to an eight row planter set up in one day. Um, I mean, there's not really many parts that it takes to set up the planter and it comes in a fairly, I mean, a fairly small box shipped UPS. Roughly, it takes about 10 to 20 parts, uh, depending on the modifications that uh, it needs to adapt to that planter when to set it up. Uh, once you get the pump mounted, to run the hoses is very small amount of time, probably 15 minutes a row till you get everything tied up and buttoned up neat. With a with an infra fertilizer, guys definitely do see a response. I mean, they see a stronger root growth and up, the plant gets out of the ground quicker. And then also they do see a better bushels per acre as well. The advantage of uh, putting the Monty's plant food right on the seed, it gives the seed a good start, especially in cooler conditions, and it aids in a better root system to produce a better yield. The Monty's plant food is very easy to work with. It's, it's a clean product. You, the, you don't have to worry about the orifices plugging up. We do have a small screen on the system, and it is very foolproof. We have very little trouble. Most modifications on a planter can be done for around $100 a row. Montes also offers a rebate program to you to help assist with the cost of setting up the planner. Well, they make it seem pretty easy there, and there are definite benefits, uh, Dan, to what they're talking about. Just at the very end, they mentioned a, a rebate program. I mean, maybe we should spend just a few minutes on that. Absolutely, and that's something that we are offering to farmers now because, because we have seen such a benefit of putting Agrihans S in row on the seed, 
for guys that are not set up that way right now with their planter, we're, we're willing to give them basically an equipment rebate back on uh, the equipment that they would use to rig up their planter to put that liquid directly on the seed. Mm -hmm. um, basically what we will do is for the amount of Agrihance S that they are purchasing from Montes, we will rebate them back $1 per gallon of Agrihance S that they purchase to go in row on the seed up to $1,500 per year for up to three years. So it could be that we would be even paying a farmer up to $4,500 to set up his planter to rig that up so that he would be able to put Agrihance S in furrow on the seed. And how would they learn more about that? Uh, we've just gone over just kind of quickly here for them, but they want to get more details and really kind of think about it. How would they learn more? Absolutely. Feel free to contact any Montes representative or call our 1-800 number, 1-800-978-6342. There it is on the and screen. And we will be sure that someone gets in contact with them and gets them the form that they need to fill out. Uh, just tell them to save their receipts. And, and we'll get the order and, and get that taken Great, care wow. of. Great, wow. That's another, you know, just to Gary, you mentioned uh, a way to want to, you know, all you want to do is help this producer out there just become more profitable. Uh, let's talk, let's help them now maybe in talking about the Agrihans S, maybe in kind of fine tune it right down now to the corn and the, the, the real benefits of Agrihans S. Mark, last year was uh, almost every producer in this country. It was a tough year. Mm -hmm. And we don't need to go through that again this year. So if we're ever going to do it as best we can or as right as we can, we need to do it right now. <laughs> so some of the benefits we're talking about is earlier we mentioned the fact of getting a uniform stand out there. Yeah. And Agrihance S can do that. It can... Uh, uh, help with this getting it out of the ground and improving this germination. If we don't do it right at planting time, we pay for it the rest of the year. So Agrihance, because of the humic product out there, can actually retain moisture around that seed for a longer period of time. When that corn seed absorbs about 50% of its weight in water, it's going to germinate and it's going to jump out of the ground. And we want it to get out of that soil as quickly as possible. We would like for that whole field to germinate within, let's say, a three-day period. We don't need corn out there a foot tall and four inches tall in the same field. Now we've got problems. And part of the Agrihans S is not only the humic material there, but we actually also have fertility in it that is not just fertilizer, it is a plant food in the form that the plant needs uh, to take up. So there's none of this conversion loss. I mentioned earlier, if we will go out early and dig up plants at a V3 stage, we're gonna see a, a slightly larger root system, more feeder roots on it. But then again, come back and dig it up when it's V6, V10, and you will see that huge difference so we want a quick start. We want a healthier plant getting out there up to the time this, the corn really starts growing. And at the same time, we're stimulating the microbial life around the root system of that plant. And in doing so, we're creating a healthier plant. And we're going to hear from someone right now, again, who has a firsthand knowledge, a grower, this again from Kentucky in this case, who has seen success using the Agrihans S that Gary just talked about. This is on his corn. Ray Tucker, let's take a look. My name is Ray Tucker from Shelbyville, Kentucky. I'm a sixth generation farmer. Uh, we raise uh, corn, tobacco, soybeans, and wheat, and our total operation consists of about 1,500 acres. Our local Southern States dealer uh, introduced us to Monty's products about, about six years ago. Yeah, we used uh, Agrihance S in our uh, starter program uh, with corn. Um, we saw after when the corn was about three to four inches tall, we saw uh, a better root growth, uh, root stimulation, the plants taking off just a whole lot healthier start versus some that we where we didn't use the starter. We have noticed plant health and we noticed that throughout the year. Uh, you know, our, our plants just looked really healthy all, all year, even during the dry and hot spell that we had. I mean, obviously the, you know, plants stressed, but it seems as ours didn't stress as much as maybe some others did. You know, the more root mass you can grow, the earlier in, in the plant, it just equals into plant health throughout this growing season. It's able to pick up more nutrients out of the soil, pick up more water out of the soil, you know, so we attribute the starter by helping do that. 
Well, Myers is very user friendly as far as tank mixing goes uh, because it's just so uh, tank compatible uh, with, with other uh, uh, insecticides and fungicides that we're using, herbicides, uh, and that's why it's so easy to use. And it's, it, it, you know, really, when you look at return on investment, it doesn't cost that much more per acre to apply it. Wow, great results there. Dan, real quick, is that is what, he, what we're seeing there typical around the country? Yeah, and, and one of the things that, that Ray talked about there was plant health and trying to keep that plant from having a bad day. And uh, that's something that we see because we are trying to feed that plant throughout the growing season with that three-step nutrient management program of Monty's. So by feeding that plant along the way, like Ray was talking, yes, his plant was stressed due to the lack of moisture, but it wasn't as stressed as some of his other fields that mm -hmm. either didn't have the monies mm -hmm. or some of his neighbors that weren't feeding those plants along the way. Uh, Gary, how about using Agrihance S, which you described very well, how does that work with Monty's liquid carbon that we talked about earlier? Okay. Well, a lot of, a lot of these uh, producers, Mark, we, we mentioned are doing a two by two, and they probably may be doing a competitor's product at a higher rate of maybe, I don't know, let's say five to eight gallons, or maybe they're using liquid nitrogen or 1034O or something like that. And if, if they're going to stay with that system and if that's working for them, if they will take our liquid carbon or our liquid humic and add to that mm -hmm. and put that in the row um, in that two by two situation, that liquid humic is going to help sequester that nitrogen and buffer the effects of the salt content in, for instance, liquid nitrogen that at higher rates or if the right environmental conditions exist, you could get some loss of germination due to the salt toxicity. Um, that, that's where carbon or this liquid humic or even calcium plus fit into this. And, up there, we can see all the actions of the humics. We've kind of talked about those to some degree up to the point, and so uh, maybe let's just move on from there. Yeah, well, Dan, what about, okay, we get the crop out of the ground. Let's talk about then, when do you tar start talking about applying steps two and three in this program? Absolutely. Um, Agrihance V is usually used during the vegetative growth stages. So in corn, for example, um, I know we'll take a look at something in the V6 to V7 stage, that's a key time to apply because at that point, the growing point of that plant is now finally above ground. Uh, it's needing more moisture and nutrient uptake. So by putting extra nutrients into that plant with the Agrihance V product, it's basically feeding that plant the extra nutrients that it needs. Mm -hmm. And then the next step coming along, V8 to V10, is also another key and critical stage because as that plant continues to grow, it's needing more and more moisture, more and more nutrients. So instead of trying to dump on a lot of nutrients all at once, we're trying to spread that out a little bit, use some Agrihance V here, and then if you have a chance, and if there's an opportunity closer to silking or closer to tassel with a fungicide or something like that, then the Agrihance R would come into play to really help push that ear development, kernel fill, the actual production part of the corn. Gary, we talked for. about uh, wheat, we talked about corn here. Now let's talk a little bit about soybeans to kind of complete that circle for, of those three. There's a lot of other plants, but uh, talk about beans. Using Agrihance S on beans is absolutely no different than using it on corn. Mm -hmm. right? We're going to use it for exactly the same reason. We want that uniform stand. We want a quick. We want a uh, quick emergence out of the plant. We want a, out of the soil. Excuse me. We want a healthy plant and we want to get it off as quick a uh, start as we can. We are not aware as a company of any other product on the market for which you can put in the row on the seed on soybeans without hurting the germination. So Agrihance S can be used at that at two to four quart rate. Now the next slide here, we're again like on corn, we, we have a uh, a little lineup of how we want to use the product, Agrihance S at start as a starter, and then we move up into that vegetative growth using Agrihance V, and then as, as we get further into it and we're filling out those uh, seed in that pod, we want to go to Agrihance R, the reproductive stage. All right, we've got another video here. This is from uh, Wes Hunter. Uh, he's a farmer from North Carolina. Wes uses Agrihance S on his soybean crop. Let's take a look. I'm Wes Hunter. We're in Cornelius, North Carolina, about 20 miles north of Charlotte. Uh, we're on a 600-acre family farm. We've been here about 200 years. I'm the ninth generation. 
Uh, we put agrahants on our soybeans in row, uh, seven and a half inch spacing on a 30 foot air drill. Um, we put a whole new system on our air drill, has individual tube to each row, um, and we put out a half a gallon of Monty's agrahants per acre, um, directly in the row, watered down, but uh, it's definitely something that we think works. I feel like uh, agrahants in row on our soybeans has uh, sped up the pop-up considerably. Uh, we've dug quite a few plants along uh, from pop-up stage all the way till now. The root system is definitely more developed than what we've seen in the past without that in-row starter. It is definitely a mass of root. Uh, we had nitrogen nodules uh, basically at emergence. We dug very small seedlings up and we had nitrogen nozzles on inch and a half, two inch long roots from the very beginning. I think it's, it, when you start with a strong root system, it only helps it all the way through. If the roots continue to develop, that strong root gives it everything it needs, nutrients, water, and I think it will, we don't know yet, but I believe it'll show and yield as well. The Monty's product has helped with, uh, with this dryness we've had. Uh, we've gone about three weeks without rain. Um, we were pretty wet prior to that, but we've gone about three weeks without rain. And we've had temperatures up to 104, 105 degrees. And where this Monty stuff is out here, we haven't seen plants suffering like they have in the past when we have a hot dry spell. Uh, our beans haven't really curled themselves up to protect themselves because I, I guess they don't feel like they're in a stress. So uh, Gary, like corn, when do you go from the, then the step two and three in this process as far as soybeans? Okay. In the first segment, I, I think you made the comment, and we've used that several times, Mark, timing is the key to every single thing that we do. There are specific growth stages in all crops that is critical uh, for the formation of seed, of uh, the fruit, of the quality, of bushels, whatever it may be. So my opinion is on these soybeans, after we get it out of the soil and get it out of the ground and going, the first stage we need to look at is this R1, R2. Mm -hmm. When R1, we're starting to, to set the blooms on that. And every bloom becomes a pod, and in every pod, we got at least two beans, most of the time three, and sometimes four. So somewhere in that stage, we want to protect every single bloom that we can. And then the next critical stage, in my opinion, is around R3, R4, R5, because now, we are setting the seed within those pods. And we need to always remember that the most critical time affecting any crop is the reproductive stage of any crop when it's sitting, uh, filling out a corn ear, setting beans uh, in those pods, filling out a wheat head or whatever. We've got to keep the energy level up in those crops. Very good. We are going to that time. We're going to take our last break here, uh, Dan. You'll be leaving us. Joe uh, Deadman coming back. Want to give you a chance for your closing thoughts. For a lot, talked a lot about corn and beans in this section. To your final thoughts to viewers. I, I would just encourage farmers to maybe give the Agrihance lineup a try. And I would say because Monty's is a three-step management program, if there's a farmer out there thinking about maybe trying Monty's on 100 acres, doing one pass. I would say maybe give us 50 acres, but do two or three passes on that 50 acres on that smaller amount because Monty's is a, a step program with different products and, and anything we can do to speed spoon feed that plan, mm -hmm. I think the producers will be happy with what they see. Great. Thanks for all the great information. Good to see you again. Great to Hope see you, We have Mark. a great Thanks growing season again. as well in your Midwest territory. Thank you. All right, Dan Marley. We come back. Joe Dedman rejoins us. We'll be taking your telephone calls. In fact, our lines are open now. We'd like to hear from you. Lots of notes I'm sure you've taken, and we are here to answer your questions. We, meaning Joe and Gary, is going to stay with me and answer questions as well. There's our toll-free number, 877-731-6733. We'll be taking your telephone calls as we return our FD TV Live with Monty's Plant Food right here on Rural America's most important network. 
Take control with Agrihance. Maximize your yields with the versatility and control of Agrihance V. Agrihance V is foliar applied at the plant's vegetative state, giving your crop the specific nutrients it needs from V3 to reproduction. The unique no burn formula and tank mix flexibility boosts performance without crop injury or making an extra pass through the field. Maximize your yields. Call, click, or talk to your dealer today and take control with Agrihance. The National High School Rodeo Association has partnered with Cinch Jeans and Shirts to bring you the Cinchtown NHSRA Tour, a fast-paced 30-minute program with today's most talented junior and senior high school cowboys and cowgirls. All competitors are working to qualify for the Junior High Finals Rodeo or the National High School Rodeo Finals. All year competitors are striving to win buckles, saddles, and to represent their state with a spot on the national team. So tune in for Cinchtown NHSRA Tour right here on RFD TV. When we bought our place in the country, we knew we were in for a whole new life. They said fixing the place up wouldn't be easy, but nobody said it wouldn't be worth it. Kubota, have you got one on the way? Maximize your soil with Monty's Liquid Carbon. Monty's Liquid Carbon soil conditioner is designed to reduce soil compaction and improve overall soil health utilizing Monty's proprietary humic technology. It enhances micronutrient uptake and the breakdown of plant residue. Application is easy, especially during burndown, and the unique tank mix flexibility provides year-round use. Maximize your soil with Monty's Liquid Carbon. Call, click, or talk with your dealer today. Welcome back to RFD TV Live. We're just about ready to take your telephone calls, answer questions. Maybe you have a comment. Maybe you're a user and have a little testimonial. We'd love to hear from you as well, whatever the reason. The number is the same, 877-731-6733. Before we get back to that, we welcome back Joe Dedman and Gary Coughlin with me as well. And uh, talking about, uh, before the show, Monty's three-step program uh, here uh, and talking about corn, talked about soybeans, talked about uh, wheat, but there are other products. We can't talk about all of them, uh, Gary, but we sure want to let viewers know that there's all, whatever crop they may be thinking about, Monty's going to be of help this spring. Mark, Monty's products works on any crop out there that you have. It doesn't make any difference what it is. If we go, for instance, up into uh, North Dakota, we've got spring wheat, we got sugar beets, we got canola, if we go to California, we got all the vegetable crops. If we go into the deep south, we got cotton, we got peanuts. We go to the east coast, we got vegetables, we got tobacco, we got corn, bean, wheats, wheat. We've got alfalfa, we got pasture fields out there. We work on any of those to improve the quality of the grain, improve the quality of the forage, and at the same time, we're going to improve the quality of their soil through stimulating that microbial uh, activity. And, and, and if you continuously use our products, you will create a healthier soil. Yeah. Joe, where can they get these products? There are a lot of, I'm sure there'll be callers on the line where will work and I get yeah. this. Well, all of our audience needs to go to their local co-ops or agronomic centers. Uh, most all of them across the, much of the United States has access to our products. Some will be carrying them, some will not know about it yet. But they have access to it, and if they cannot get the results at their local co-op or dealer, all they've got to do is call into our office at that 800 number, and we will put them directly in touch with who they can. There's purchase. the 800 number, but you're talking people like the southern states. I'm just going to name a yeah. few. We can't name them all. Girl yeah. Mark, I've, well, yeah. because you've, you've yes, named these exactly. before. Yeah. Uh, MFA. Yeah, correct, uh, correct. Um, Many of the big co-op chains are working with us now, and we're still expanding into other markets as well and working with other and there's that 800 number that we're just showing you again, yes. uh, by the way, uh, viewers, that the uh, Monty's uh, great people are going to be on those telephone lines after our show is over, about an hour after we're done on the program and taking your telephone call. So if you don't get through, we uh, want to make sure that you understand that those lines will be open for about an hour after our show is over. We have some callers on the line. In fact, our first caller from Alabama, Rick, thanks for calling. Welcome to our program with Monty's Plant Food. Are you there, Rick? Yes, sir. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, Rick. Chris, how y'all doing Wait, today? We're doing just yeah. fine. How can we help you tonight? Oh, it's cold down here today. <laughs> Let's get down to the 30s tonight. Yeah. Well, the... uh, my question was, and you pretty much answered it at the end of the show, that uh, on vegetable plants and uh, watermelons and and. Uh, yeah, you bet. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, our products go. work tremendous on those crops. Any kind of produce or vegetable, uh, the humix that we've been talking about over the last couple of shows really make the produce, uh, watermelons, vegetable crops, all that really jump. I mean, the farmers will really enjoy using those products. And the application is going to be the same. It is. It is. And, and Mark, it's, and Rick, it's exactly the same thing we talked about on the soybeans. You want to protect the blooms on your watermelons or your squash or anything mm -hmm. else, just like we do on, on our, our soybeans. And if we use those products, uh, Mark, especially on vegetables, we're going to improve the quality and the taste of those uh, right. vegetables. Right. All right, let's go to Kentucky. Chad, thank you for calling, and welcome to RFD TV Live. Yes, sir. Go ahead. My question is on tobacco. We are... Uh, 100 gallons of one acre, and uh, how much uh, would you, and uh, which product would you use? All right, your phone's cutting out. I, I didn't get all your question. I think he said he was using 200 gallons of water per acre. Is that right? Yes, sir, 300 gallons. 300, 300 gallons, gallons of water per acre in, uh, as a transplant. Is that right? Thank you, Dissolver. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think, think that's, we're going to exactly. assume that's where he is. Well, we're applying a, a gallon uh, to, to an acre of the Agrihans S product, or in many cases, we're, uh, Chad, we're also having farmers use uh, a half a gallon of carbon and then add a quart of our 816.8 makes a tremendous starter uh, for tobacco and gets it off to a really quick start. You, you don't hardly suffer with any kind of transplant shock uh, to the soil. So again, uh, we have reps available in our in our area in your area, so just give us a call at the office. We'll expand on that further. Chad, uh, just to follow up, make sure you understood what Joe said. He the rates he gave you were per acre. So if you're using 300 gallons and let's say you got a 50 gallon barrel, obviously you've got to divide that product up per barrel. Yeah. All right, 877-731-6733. There's our toll-free number for you to join us with our time remaining, 877-731-6733. Thanks for the calls, and really, uh, all the callers, uh, you help each other more than you know. Let's go to North Carolina. Johnny, you saw some viewers, uh, some producers from the Carolinas on our program. How can we help you tonight? Yeah, I was just wondering. I was going to try this uh, money stuff this year when I planted my corn. And I was wondering what they recommend putting to the acre, how much, what amount. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about trying some on some test plots and my hay and my pasture, and I was wondering what the rate would be there. Very good. All right, first corn, I guess, uh, right. Gary. Johnny, we would be looking, uh, we would be looking at two to four quarts per acre on your corn as your starter. Uh, frankly, if you use uh, four quarts instead of two, you will see better results and quicker results. And if you go out on your pasture, uh, it would be exactly the same thing, two to four quarts per acre. And the hay, does that use yes, the same yes. thing? Yes, okay. same thing on your hay, I'm sorry. Very, Very good. good. All right, through uh, to Missouri we go. Richard, thank you for calling. We're trying to get as many calls as we can before we have to say good night. Uh, your question or comment? How natural is the chemical that is uh, being used in the product? Well, our products don't have any chemicals in it. Uh, our or the liquid carbon product that we've been talking about here tonight is actually certified organic, uh, so it's it's perfectly safe to use uh, in any uh, organic farming situation as well. But it also complements the soil in a very natural way, so it complements uh, every all the biology and everything in the soil. And then our our plant food products, uh, including the Agrihans, is uh, is a natural. Uh, sugar, it's a natural uh, plant food. You could actually drink it. It wouldn't hurt you. It just tastes bad. But uh, <laughs> it, it's a very safe product to use around livestock, uh, pets, children, anything. So it's a great product. I appreciate you trying it. Very good. One more call from Virginia. Bill, thank you for calling. Your question or a comment? 
Uh, I had a question about the egg sweep. Uh, the co-op just told me about it last week, and I was wondering what's the advantage of using egg sweep over just putting sugar in the fertilizer? Well, Bill, the, our agri-sweet is a 34%. It's highly refined sugar. Uh, it flows great. It'll mix out there. One of the problems that we have encountered uh, that we've heard back through producers is that when they have used granulated sugar, uh, one, in dry fertilizer, it just doesn't mix well because there's so much difference in the particle size. And yet, if they try to dissolve it, to spray it, they just don't get it all dissolved, and it wants to stop up the nozzles. Our AgriSuite will not stop up nozzles. It's, it's an excellent product. And what we're doing with that, I always use a scenario about eating a, a chocolate bar or something. You're getting that sugar. You are putting energy into any crop that you apply it on, so you're just keeping the energy level up high. All right. Thanks for all the calls. We are going to leave some time for each one of you. Some closing thoughts. Joe, start with you. Good to see you again yes. at Commodity Classic as well. Your closing yes. thoughts tonight. Thank you very much. It's been a great uh, program already tonight. Uh, a couple of things. I, I just want to make sure that, that they understand that Monty's is always working on new products. Uh, we have several in the pipeline that we're working on, and, and I'm really excited about one we're just about ready to launch hopefully we'll get to uh, launch a whole lot more about it in, in april but it's a 42 percent sulfur product it will be in a dry form to begin with and uh, we are very excited because farmers are this is a need they're telling us that they really need is sulfur product and it's going to be a very unique product just like all the other products we have are unique very good. We'll look forward to that. Maybe yeah. introduce it in yes. April here on RFD so. TV we'll Live. Try, yes. I'd love to do that for you. Very good. Good to see you again, Joe. Yes, thank you. Uh, Gary, as always, a great pleasure to have you around. And your closing thoughts. Mark, I think Doug mentioned this early in the program about the fact that Monty's is the, is the pioneer in humic technology. And, and frankly, since we've been doing RFTD, RFD TV, there have been a lot of products come on the market making a lot of uh, we are similar to Monty's claims and this type thing, but there is a huge difference. Monty's has got actual science and technology behind uh, their humic materials to whereby they are purified and they are activated and they're ready to go to work. Yeah. So if a farmer would just give them a try, he will see, he will see the uh, quality of his health improve and, that, and stimulating that microbial activity. Right. Have a great season coming up here, 2013. Thank you, All right, in case you weren't able to get your question tonight, folks at Monty's will be manning their phones for the next hour. Reach them at that toll-free number, 800 978 6342. They'll be joining again for the next hour to answer your questions. We're missing a very important part of our crew tonight. First time in eight years that our producer, uh, Heather Spillman, has not been with us. So, Heather, you get better and we'll see you here next week. I'm Mark Oppel. Good night from Rural America's most important network. Hi, folks. Dr. Dan from Doc Talk here. Be sure to join me next week as my guest will be Dr. Nels Lindbergh from Great Bend, Kansas. We're going to talk about ranch horse health. Be sure to join me every Monday afternoon at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on RFD TV, and I will see you down the road. Now everyone who uses catheters can get a better catheter with Liberator Medical's free catheter sample pack.